So good morning, everybody. Um, last uh, but never least, it is my honor to be able to lead the team that supports the North American operations and our customer base, and also um, do our absolute best to support all the airplanes that my friend here has been selling. <laughs> so um, with that said, a global and worldwide customer support organization, I think the message here is really uh, one of mature organization and stable footprint around the world. And I think that uh, goes to what Charlie mentioned a little bit earlier about our ability to uh, you know, be on site with our customers around the world. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, before I get into um, all of the offerings that we have, there's a couple of areas that I think are important to touch on. First, our core values as a company. I mentioned it when we were here together last year, I think, is um, number one, our people people are what make us fly that's our one of our key corporate core values and number two we're here to serve our customers and I think they're one and two um, not out of coincidence but because that's what our our key focus is for our organization as well as for our customer base so with that said um, we've got a team of more than a thousand people around the world and supporting well over 2,000 aircraft and growing every day um, I again awfully proud to be able to lead a small portion of that team here in the United States for the North American market and out of the Fort Lauderdale office where is our, our uh, primary facility as well as Nashville, Tennessee, our MRO. Uh, there's about 700 of us um, serving from uh, Argentina to, uh, to Canada. So uh, needless to say a lot of responsibility and with that said, um, the materials organization, um, we're we're distributing materials from around the world in geographic locations and predominantly north-south, um, the Americas, covered through the Fort Lauderdale facility, um, in Europe, Africa, Middle East, through Paris and, and uh, the Middle East. We've got warehouses in both locations and material organizations there, and then uh, Asia Pacific uh, through Singapore and our China offices. On the maintenance side, um, two wholly owned um, MROs, Agma in Portugal, and EAMS, uh, Ember Aircraft Maintenance Services in Nashville. Um, interesting thing, uh, our managing director there um, told me the other day, we've just uh, eclipsed 500 heavy maintenance visits on the EJET family uh, from the entry into service. So I think back to where we started uh, probably 11 years or so ago, we've come a long way. And so um, I think a key element of, of our ability to support our customer base is understanding our own product. <coughs> At the end of the day, having that much experience, not only serving that customer base, but understanding where our product is going and feeding that information back to engineering and product development is critical to the success of the program. On the training side, uh, for, for not only E-Jets, but ERJs, we've got more than 60 simulators around the world. Again, another uh, indication in our mind <coughs> of the support organization, our partners at Flight Safety are a big part of that, um, and working together with, with uh, individual airlines as well as Flight Safety to assure that we've got uh, capacity, not only from an MRO perspective, from a materials perspective, but certainly training, which is a, a, you know, a critical element of successful operations. On the flight operations um, side, we've got a dedicated team um, that interfaces not only with um, system operations controls and fleet planning and flight planning organizations in each of the airlines, but on the actual flight operations and pilot side, uh, that are interfacing with fleet managers uh, around the world. And so a very mature organization there, constantly getting very high marks in our customer surveys. Uh, technical engineering, um, that's the team that's taking all of the data that we've that we're living out in the field and, and assuring that we've got solutions that are in place, not only just on an AOG basis, but service bulletins and things that are necessary to continue to upgrade and update the fleet. Aircraft modifications, um, certainly always in play, um, especially as we have a tremendous breadth of sales in the lessor community and as aircraft are moving around the world, we need an ability to be able to provide service bulletins and reconfiguration documentation and materials to be able to upgrade and move aircraft from different regulatory authorities or different parts of the world, different classes for single class, dual or three class operations. So a critical part of our support organization. Um, I'll get to E-Solutions in just a minute. 
Um, but customer relationship management, in, in our view, has been um, not really, uh, well, probably one of the key elements of our relationship with our customers. We've got teams that are living around the world with our customers, not only field, uh, field reps, but customer account managers and engineering personnel. Um, uh, again, very proud to have a, a substantial team here in the United States living with our customer base here as well, and these guys do an outstanding job of responding to our customers' needs, and more importantly, being the voice of the customer inside of Embraer, making sure that we're listening to what our customers are saying. Um, supply chain management, at the end of the day, we need to make sure that our suppliers um, and partners in the programs are living up to their commitments and supporting our customers' needs. Most do. Occasionally we uh, have to have additional conversations and that's a critical part of our organization as well to integrate the supply chain management and, and, and procurement process with the support organization. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to get into e-solutions in just a second, but from an integrated solution perspective, I think that's an area that separates us as well in that we're involved in MRO, we're involved in materials, we're involved in training, we're involved in, in in helping the reallocation of aircraft around the world and, and upgrading of those products, making sure that um, all of those things are available to our customer base. Today we've got more than 65% of our customer base that are in our current rotable pool uh, uh, program. So um, more than 600 aircraft around the world are being supported through our pool, again, line replaceable unit repair programs. We've got all kinds of material around the world uh, from an MRO perspective, certainly that footprint and another uh, 30 some odd affiliated MROs to assure there's proper capacity for all the aircraft that um, are being sold. Um, we want to make sure that that's in play as well. We don't expect to have um, wholly owned facilities around the world uh, other than the two we have today, but we want to make sure there's enough capacity to support all our customer base and that's our ultimate responsibility. So from an integrated solutions perspective, we believe that, again, this mature and stable organization is second to none in the market. As one of the uh, centers of gravity, if you will, or the central nervous system of this process, aside from the folks that are out in the field living day to day operationally with our customers, we've got, um, over the last couple of years, we've really um, worked hard to assure that our customer care center, which is an integrated um, control center for all the aircraft that are flying around the world, it's based in San Jose Dos Campos, our headquarters in Brazil, 24-7, uh, 365, obviously, they never sleep. And at the end of the day, I think one other element that we've been able to accomplish is integration with our key suppliers in Brazil. So um, not only are we monitoring every aircraft and every customer around the world from this location. We're delivering in, on our commitments when it comes to spare parts. We're interfacing with our supply chain and providing structural repair and or uh, you know, documentation necessary to continue the operation of the fleet. And I think that's been, a, a, as I said, a central nervous system uh, uh, capability that we offer and, and uh, has been very successful for us. One of the elements, or probably the key element as a company that we're focused on is the core values of our customer base. And we have um, airline advisory boards on a regular basis, uh, at least once a year, uh, where our airlines are telling us what's important to them. And what we've done is we've tried to assure that we've got a value, a value stream uh, offering at the end of the day that we're focused on the things that are most important to our customer base first and foremost aircraft availability <clears throat> excuse me at the airplane sitting on the ground it's not doing anybody any good and so at the end of the day excuse me <coughs> at, the, <clears throat> at the end of the day what we need to make sure of is that we've got intrinsic reliability built into the product and that's where aircraft availability comes in. And again, our field teams and our customers and our monitoring of the aircraft in real time is assuring that we're putting in solutions in place to assure that reliability. And we've seen that across both families, ERJ as well as the EJ. Cost, cost, cost. We've got some friends in the audience that remind me of that on a regular basis. And at the end of the day, um, there's nothing more important than making sure that this, these are economical products that they match uh, the expectations of our customers and certainly an area we're always challenged and always focused on. 
smooth operations comes to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> comes to do or has to do with assuring that we've got proper tools, documentation, infrastructure in place to be able to thank you very much. To assure that we have the proper uh, tools and facilities to be able to allow customer smooth operations that happens with our customer response centers interfacing in the field with customers on a, on a daily basis and then ultimately the market value of the product to assure that it's out there that it's available that it's flying each and every day and that the um, you know the residual values are maintained as we move aircraft around the world um, to us and to our customers most importantly these are the critical things that they ask us to focus on and that we're focused on as a company E-solutions. In our mind, <coughs> excuse me, in our mind probably the most important powerful communication tools um, as we move forward in, in, in these next uh, decades, not only with the uh, E1 or excuse me, the current generation of the e uh, but our E2 family. And so there's a tremendous amount of work that we're doing in this area, assuring that we're able to interface with our customers um, not only in real time, face to face, but obviously digitally as well. And so these are critical areas in our mind that we're working on. Probably the most, um, they're all important um, at this stage, but we start here with a head pro. A head pro is our, um, our, mon our aircraft monitoring system, which allows us to diagnose aircraft while they're in flight and assure that maintenance activity is prepared. Uh, before the aircraft ever gets on the ground transmitted through a car so we continue to mon monitor that uh, throughout the fleet there's a large percentage of the customer base that are uh, utilizing this service as we speak uh, download center obviously allows for digital data to be transmitted ePool is the interface system that connects us to our customers that are in our pool program and allows them to order materials in real time over an electronic system and have them distributed anywhere in the world. Um, eSight is our reliability tracking system, so it allows customers that don't have that their own wherewithal or even those that do have their reliability monitoring um, organizations to download data on their fleet and on the global fleet in real time. ESRM, our structural repair manual, uh, another important tool to be able to access and, and you know our focus here is to allow not only online at each and every airline but ultimately and, and what we're working on now is getting them onto our uh, devices at the end of the day which are very powerful tools as we all know. Um, E-Tech Pubs um, kind of speaks for itself. E-Warranty um, again the same. E-Track um, in this case allows us to track all of our open items with our customer base and that's tied together with eForum which allows customers to communicate with each other and, uh, and transmit or share best practices and knowledge. Um, our engineering drawings and e-sales is for materials engineering drawings obviously for those drawings available. E-performance through our flight operations organization allows the flight operations teams in each of the airlines interface with us. So again, lots of, oh, by the way, in production and delivery, um, obviously for interfacing with our team in Brazil in pre-delivery mode uh, as aircraft are being accepted um, you know, each and every day. So all of that to say that our focus in a, from, a, from a communications protocol um, never replaces the face-to-face, eye-to-eye uh, contact in the field, but you know, our view is that we're going to continue to uh, really drive improvements in this area to allow real-time communication around the world and, and, again, what we believe are going to be very powerful tools. And so with that, I will say thank you and pass it back to Alyssa.